What's the difference between you and Adam Smith? Well, he's dead. <laughs> I'm sorry. Some things are just not resistible. Um, the question is, what is the difference between uh, objectivism's political philosophy and that of Adam Smith? There's a, there's a, 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 a drastic difference. Adam Smith tried to justify capitalism on altruistic grounds. His justification of capitalism was if you leave people alone, then you've got this invisible hand that functions so that people who are pursuing their self-interest wind up pursuing the, quote, public interest. Now that means the justification for capitalism, the justification for individual rights, is a collective one. It's not that you as an individual have a right to pursue your own profit and to pursue your own interest. You have to justify your actions on the basis that you are serving others. So he, in effect, endorsed the idea that you have no rights, but that you exist only by virtue of your service to others. And that objectivism rejects categorically. It says you have a right to exist for your own sake. You do not have to justify it as being of service to others. In reality, under capitalism, the interests of people do not conflict, as I said. If you don't seek the unearned, if you deal by trade, then one man's production benefits another man. It means there's more goods available to be traded and more goods to, to benefit everybody. But that is not the justification. The justification for your making a profit is your own life. You are entitled to pursue your own self-interest without having to be a servant to others. Okay, next question. So is the justification the difference? Yes. Essentially, that's the difference. Now, even in terms of his actual belief, he wasn't in favor of entire laissez-faire capitalism, but that's a detail. The